Is it wrong to sacrifice a Pego to get Pego mutations? I don't think so. I think it's probably the best thing to do to get Pego mutations. Sacrificing Pegos makes the world go round. Hey, Dimorphodons, what are you doing? Why you do me like this? There we go. Yes, the rainbow murder pit strikes again. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved, where we're going to do some amazing... Br hey. Hey, you. Calm down, man. Let's pop a squat. There we go. Okay. So, yeah, we got some breeding to do today. So, we got also... <laughs> I need to get rid of this. Oh my god. But yeah, we got some Pego eggs here somewhere. I do believe maybe they're in here. Uh, what are these? Bronto eggs. Oh my god. Frickin' Phoenix eggs? Where are all my Pego eggs? Where are the Pego eggs at? There we go. Can I carry all 300 of these? Wham bam. Thank you, ma'am. We are in business. But yeah, I hope you guys all enjoy the episode. I had actually <laughs> recorded a Pego hatching episode a while back. I think I actually showed off some of the mutations we got from that. But um, some issues happened with my recording and uh, didn't actually record any of it. So we're back. I hope you guys all enjoy it. If you do find yourselves enjoying this episode, don't forget to show your support. Smash that like button. Really helps me out. You all are absolutely amazing with all of your support. Can't say thank you enough. Without further ado, let's get some Pego mutations, shall we? It right, doesn't look like we got anything there. I also need to figure out where exactly I'm going to put the Pego enclosure. Like, am I going to put them with other small dinos? Uh, do they get their own enclosure? Should I do, like, a walkthrough, like of some kind of building with a whole bunch of small dinos in it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below for what we should do uh, for a Pego Zoo enclosure. Um, you know, when you go to a zoo, they sometimes have this, like, cave... I'm um, quote-unquote, like, cave structure kind of thing. Maybe not like a cave, but... Or, like, a, a building where you walk through and they have, like, monkeys, like, different types of monkeys and cats in there and all these little small enclosures. I'm kind of thinking maybe that's what we should do for some of our smaller dinos. So let me know if you guys think that is a good idea. And maybe we'll start working on that here in the next week by like breeding Pego. Well, we obviously we did Pegos, uh, but doing Dodos again and Truidons and all that kind of stuff and putting it in some kind of house structure. Are all of these really all up inside? Oh, Jesus! Pegos everywhere! It's, it's tragedy! Doesn't look like we've gotten any mutations quite yet. Oh, what are you, you ugly little cr These are the ugliest babies ever. Ever. I mean, look at this thing. I mean, Pegos are ugly, but this thing is hideous. Ugh. No. What are you... Are, are there any mutations in here? Oh, I feel so bad punching babies, man. It's, it's a hor... What kind of horrible person just punches babies? Yeah, and some of you guys are probably like, you should be using a whip, dum-dum. Well, you're right. I should be using a whip. But I'm a glutton for punishment, and this is working right now, so <laughs> we're going to keep doing it this way. Uh, uh, I felt like that might have been a mutation there for a second, but it was not. All right, let's turn this off. I think we should be able to actually drop a bunch of these eggs all at once. And when we do it this way, they actually don't usually get stuck up inside of each other. Yeah. <gasps> First mutation, and it's blue. I don't know why I said it like that, but I felt like it. We got some red spiky bits and red fur. Oh my god, we just got a whole bunch of mutations all at once. Nice. Oh, crap. Didn't mean to tame that one. There we go. And then we got that nice blue color that I love so much right there. So these are the uglier scarves. We got the cute scarves, with, which are otters. And now we've got, like, the shoulder strap thingy with boobers. I don't know, because these things sit on your shoulder. I don't know. I'm just being dumb. But that's pretty cool. I like the blue one. Two different color blue ones. Oh, man. Ugh, and officially getting tiny human this weekend. Uh, I didn't get him for a few weeks because of the hurricane and stuff like that. But finally getting him back. We're going to play some Slime Rancher together. We're going to get mutations together. Maybe even record a couple vlogs if I could not be terrible at it. 
I don't know if it's something you guys actually want to see, but uh, we'll give it a shot, I guess. We got green spikes. That's a mutation. And I believe that is all out of that one. I also might uh, record an episode of him actually learning how to play Ark. I mean, he's only three, and his hand-eye coordination <laughs> isn't the best when it comes to uh, using the mouse and keyboard or uh, anything. But I don't know. It might be actually fun to, to record a montage of him getting into trouble. I don't know. Let me know if you guys want to see that. It'll be, it might be a goofy episode just for, for shits and giggles. But uh, it doesn't look like we're getting too much more out of this. Uh, definitely turning off the generator helps a lot. Uh, those of you that are wondering how we're hatching the eggs instantly, that is part of the S plus uh, hatchery mod. Oh, there's a mutation right there. I think. No, that's a normal color. Okay. It is. Ooh, there's one. Green fur. Neon green fur. It's beautiful. It's amazing. We haven't really gotten any body color mutations, I don't think. I will have to verify. Actually, you know, maybe that would be a good idea to do right now. Just take a take a little bit of a look. See, looks like we got some pink fur, like spiky bits. Uh, we got some poop green spiker bits. Don't care about that. I feel like that color is a mutation, but it's definitely not because there's so many with it. It looks it's still a cool skin color though. Oh. oh. Just verify. I think I grabbed the one with the red spikes already. If memory serves. Yes, we did. Well, yo. Any mutations over here? <clears throat> Speak up or forever hold your peace. Doesn't look like it. I'm like dying. Ah. <clears throat> okay, we're good. Everything's fine. Uh, so this is... Looks like a salmon spikes. Noise. Looks like it's a darker red body. Um, I really should have looked at how many color zones these things have. God, they are ugly. Oh, we really need to get rid of them before they, like, become adults, though, because we're going to get massacred if we let them become adults. All right, yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean up this area, get the baby pegos that we do have fully grown, and then we will be right back. Oh, there is nothing better than murdering all the pegos. All the pego sacrifices to R and Jesus. I don't usually record this, but um, I think everybody hates pegos enough to just enjoy this at least a little bit. I mean, they're if they're still not adult pegos because if they were adult pegos, they'd be getting just harassed constantly right now. But um, I hate pegos. Everybody hates pegos. I really had considered doing a 10 minute montage of just killing Pegos at one point. Like that's how much I freaking hate Pegos. <laughs> oh, I hate them a lot. These things are almost already fully grown actually. But we did get quite a few mutations so stop running around. Everybody relax, okay? We want to look at you, see what we got so far. Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad at all. What you guys looking at? You look like you're wanting to steal all my stuff. Pesky little pegos. All right, so actually, now that I think about it, I need to get these guys in a little pen to start the crossbreeding. So we're gonna actually do that now. The nice thing about these guys is I don't even have to build like a secondary breeding area for them. I can just lock them in a wall or in a couple walls and we'll be good to go. Come here. Hey, you guys wanna be all up in my shit a minute ago. Now you don't even want to follow me. What is this? Hey, you. What are you doing? Stubborn ass Pegos. Come on. Eh, whatever. Close enough. We got all of them almost. So, not too bad. You, I don't know what's going on with you. But anyways, let's go ahead and start hatching some more Pegos. Turn this off. I mean, we got... I think if there's another 180-ish eggs in the, um, in the other area still. So we still have... I think probably have close to like two or three hundred left. Uh, do, do, do. Oh, lime green. So we got some lime green legs. And uh, also, let me know in the comments below what kind of color combinations you guys would like to see in the future. We have been allowing RNG Jesus to select our colors lately. Um,. But if there are particular color combinations you guys think would look good for dinos, demi, 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 let me know. I can speak English. I'm good at this. 
Words are easy. No, they're not. It's the worst. <clears throat> Let's see what we got here. Uh, there we go. Anything? Hmm. Wow. A whole batch without a mutation. It's crime against humanity. It's terrible. All right. So... These aren't mutating nearly as much as the original batch that I had, which is kind of sad because the original batch of mutations I got work pretty nice. I don't think I even have them on the server anymore. Um, I'm pretty sure when I was cleaning up, making room for new zoo enclosures, they actually got mer- Ooh, magenta spiky bits. Oh, picking up eggs. Don't want to be picking up eggs. Want to be claiming things. There we go. It's raining, man. Hallelujah, it's... That's weird. Okay. Anyways. <laughs> I have issues. I believe... Oh, nothing. Nothing. I take it back. <clears throat> I thought I saw a mutation, but I was mistaken. Are you fully grown now? No. Um, all right. So we definitely need to get it daytime and not raining. So, yeah. All right. Nothing new yet. We will be right back. All right, so we are back, and we only had about a <clears throat> hundred more. I thought we had <clears throat> a lot more. I'm dying. Oh, my God. What is going on? Oh, my goodness. I <laughs> should probably cut that out, but I know I probably will forget, so whatever. Uh, um, oops. I have to turn that off. Uh, so what I've done is I actually was doing, needed to do a little bit of testing, and I've got all of these fertilized Akatina eggs, which are Akatina, Akatina, I don't know, um, which are part of the insect breeding mod that I have. And I wanted to do a video on it, so I've got a few eggs, and I figure we'll do the test together once we actually finish looking at all of these magnificent pegos. I also just realized my eggs are being collected somewhere. Uh, the fertilized ones that I've dropped. Let's see here. So it doesn't look like we got too much more. Nothing. That one fertilized egg hasn't been picked up. We already got that green mutation that's in front of me. So don't worry your pretty little faces about that one. Where are the pego mutations? Derp, 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 derp. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Nothing. I really, really didn't get any uh, any body mutations. I am quite surprised. We got a lot of fur and spike mutations. I think we got like one body mutation. That is garbage. That is so unfortunate. I imagine we'll probably get a, uh, a couple of body mutations when we do the actual cross mutation episode. Come on, hatch. Oh, got to turn it on. Boink. Let me see you. Nothing. Nothing. All right. So I do have, I believe, yeah, it's down here. Got another one of these dudes over here. There's probably some Bronto eggs in here, but I do think, there we go. I, oh, uh, uh, I we can hatch a couple. Oh, God. Gra I, uh, it'd be so much easier if I just typed in Pego and grabbed it, but no. I'm stubborn. So stubborn. Open sesame. Alright. Whoa! Hello, darkness, my old friend. Stupid lag. Uh, okay, well, I guess we're going to hatch some Brontos, too. We're just doing everything. This. Oh, I dropped an Akatina. Oh. oh uh. What? How many? What? I dropped. How many Bronto eggs did I drop? Oh, we got snails on the loose. Snails on the loose. I think that's a mutated snail as well. It's got purple spike or pur purple spiky bits. A snail with purple spikes. Hey. Hey, you. Get out from under the thing. I'm pretty sure that snail has got a magenta back. Look at these things. Ugh. Who likes snails? All right, well, Brontos, you're all up in my way, okay? Oh, you're so loud. So loud. Oh, my God. And we're back. We got a snail. Doing snail. 
forgot to grab all the stuff back. Derp, derp. I don't want no more Brontos. They are so loud. Uh, Bronto, uh, no, no. Goodbye, Bronto eggs. All right, but we do have some more Pago eggs. And then we'll also drop our Akatina egg. The ones that we do have, at least, and see what we get out of that. Uh, now, definitely let me know if you guys want to see an actual Akatina um, breeding and mutation episode. And I will be more than happy to do that. Although, clearly, we're going to need some glass floors to actually be able to see them. What the hell is that? That was weird. Because we can't... Get out of the way! Come here. You got cool blue back. I want to touch it. There we go. We did it. Yeah, we can't see the... Uh, we can't see them. So we need a glass floor for that. Um, I'm going to do that now, actually. Since we just dropped the last of our Pego eggs. And this is the last Pego mutation that we've got. Which is a nice, pretty blue. Well, what do you know? We had a secret otter under the floor. <laughs> what are you doing under there, buddy? Jesus. Man, sneaky, sneaky otter is just getting all up under things. It's pretty crazy. But yeah, so we've got a place to actually hatch our magnificent, beautiful snails. Looks like we got... Um, triplets of this violet color, which is pretty nice. I don't know why the popped me out when I claimed it. Uh, so those, that's actually the egg. That's a little weird. It's just like a, a 2D ball, but it's a 3D. That is weird. It doesn't like have any shadows, so it's, it looks 2D, but it is 3D. I'm, oh, look at the snail goop all over my glass. It's pretty terrible. Um, yeah, anyways, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna complain about the eggs too much. I'm just happy I can breed some snails. Ooh, pretty snail. That's not even a mutation over there. It's just a normal looking snail. Are we even getting any mutations? See, this is what I have to do. I actually have to do a test like this before I record an episode. Um, especially with these modded dinos, because you never know if you're gonna actually get mutations now. What the? Where did the poop? Oh, otter's pooping on us, man. Craziness. But yeah, you never actually know if you're going to get mutations with these mods. Now, the Akatina do have color zones. So theoretically, they should be able to get mutations. Um, and if I do see a mutation, then obviously I will probably record an episode with it. But currently... I do not see any mutations. They all seem to be about the same. Just go ahead and drop some more. I got some more glass. Oh, there we go. First mutation, green. So the Akatina officially mutate with this mod. I, I did ask the mod creator if all of the um, insects did mutate, and he did say yes. But, you know, you have to do some tests to make sure. So we did get our first mutation. And I think these will actually look pretty cool mutated. Especially um, since it looks like the shells have two different color zones just on the shell. And then we've got the main body and then the back stripe. So four zones. Not two. Wow, we got flying snails, man. Flying snail goop all up in the joint. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, anyways. Actually, yeah. There's the, uh, the stripe right there that's mutated on this guy with the lime green. Nice. Very nice. So yeah. We got snail goop all up in the joint, just getting the snail goop on. So, okay, well, let's go ahead and take a quick look at the mutations that we've got. Um, oh, man, we really didn't get that many. Not nearly as nice as what I got with the first iteration of these mutations. Um, but really not that bad either. I think we can still make a pretty cool one. Oh, they're already getting their groove on. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, I mean, that's fine. I guess it's not really a problem. This is a disaster. You got pegos and snails, oh my. Um, but yeah, so probably what we're going to end up doing is in the next episode, we will, well, not the next episode, but in the next breeding of this, um, we'll actually get the cross mutations and start figuring out what we're going to do for the small dino enclosures. And um, what else? I think we'll actually get more mutations 
when we do the cross mutations. I'm going to do a lot of eggs for the cross mutations. So theoretically, we should be able to get some like body uh, color mutations as well. Because these guys do have four zones. And usually when you're doing anything more than three zones, then you'll actually... Actually, these things only have three zones. Um, three zones is a little harder to get new mutations when you're doing the cross mutations. Um, with four zones, you'll get a lot of them because it takes so long and you got so many eggs to do it with. But... Um, yeah, definitely let me know in the comments below what you guys think we should do for the small dino zoo enclosure. Uh, do you think we should make some kind of cave sort of thing with smaller enclosures for these, uh, for like the Trudon, the Pego, uh, the Micro Raptor, and stuff like that? It might be a cool idea, especially if I can actually build it out of rock. That might be a fun experiment. I don't know. Throw your ideas down below. I really like the way we have been doing this where I ask you guys what we should do for the enclosures because you guys come up with some really awesome ideas and it's fun to implement um, the community into these actual builds. So, uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think. And otherwise, that is really all I've got for today's episode. If you want to see Akatina also... I don't even know if I'm saying that right. If you want to see the snails... Let me know. Look at this beautiful otter. He's gorgeous. So pretty. It's amazing. Um, but yeah. Anyways, if you guys are new to the channel, I keep getting distracted. <laughs> don't forget to subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to share your support and smash that like button. And as always, I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.